Now, an African proverb says, when two brothers fight to death, strangers will inherit their property. This appears to be, the, to be playing out in a do state, South South Nigeria. The state government has disbanded the media crew attached to the office of the deputy governor, Philip Schreiber, with a directive to him to request the Ministry of Communication and Orientation for media coverage of activities of his, event, his office. The directive followed the incident that happened during the colloquium held to mark the 32nd anniversary of the creation of the state. Dari, we started this yesterday and um, another event happened yesterday and Philip Schreiber was stopped again from um, getting, entering the this particular event. Can you just put up to speed? How did you get here? What is playing out in uh, Edo is discouraging and disappointing. Uh, when uh, state actors begin to use the powers of state to humiliate, push on, and they even threaten themselves, uh, they are telling the people that it is not only uh, to come and lead and serve that you have elected us, it's also to come and show how, how well we can use uh, power. That's the deputy governor making, yeah. mid, making his um, exit. Exit. He's leaving. Uh, a, day, a, a day earlier, he made his way in. He tried to exchange his entries with the governor. An ordinary security personnel blocked the deputy governor in full glare of cameras. You see, we are not making excuses for either of these two. You see, we have had this discussion and some people begin to talk about uh, uh, some people are supporting either Obaseki or Shuaibu. And I say, no. We are saying these two people will not be in, or will not be occupying those offices soon. Some other set of people will come. What will we say we have made of those offices? We are a security man can tell the deputy governor, you won't talk to the governor. And the governor will look up, see the exchange, and take his eye away from it. What examples are we? Vindictiveness, insulting. How will that security man look at the deputy governor when he's just with him alone tomorrow? That's the man I stopped from visiting the governor. And then, he did, 24 hours later, he was not even allowed to be part of a state function. He was... Legitimately, he is legitimately elected to be part of that function. It is one of the reasons why he is the deputy governor. Anything could have happened there needing the deputy governor's uh, attention in case the governor is unable to. But he is not there. The governor will decide that any other person is so uh, wish will do it. Mm. What is playing out between them? Somebody said, an elderly friend said, Daddy, I saw your concern about Edo. And what I just want to tell you is, look, when two thieves go out, and after a successful looting loot. operation, <laughs> they come back. come back with their loot, yeah. and then it is time to so share. share the loot. If by any error of commission or omission, they disagree on the sharing formula, he said the noise they will make will be louder than the noise they made while they were stealing. <laughs> because while they were stealing, they had to do it discreetly. But in this case, they will forget that these loots are products of criminality. <laughs> he said that's what is happening in Edo. And nobody should pity either Mr. A or, or Mr. B. B. Rather, we should pray for democracy in Edo. Because the aftermath of what is happening, he said, it can be, it can be very, very dangerous for the state. And I fear that too. I fear that. Obasaki told Edo people that he wanted to fight against Godfather reasons four years ago. And now Philip Shuabu said he wants to become the governor. And Obasaki is saying that yet that the referee has not blown the whistle. Mm. <laughs> so what is happening? You see, this issue is just the same thing that is occurring almost in every state. In the level uh, of it and uh, playing it in the open may not be uh, as open as it has been. 
If you look at Nigeria since 1999, when we returned to democracy, how many deputy governors have succeeded their uh, governors uh, peacefully? We had uh, we have Ganduji, Ganduji in Kano. But we know what is happening between them now. But at least he succeeded his principal. The same thing in um, uh, um, Zamf no. Yerima was governor in Zamfara. No, the, the succession was not peaceful. But Kafi succeeded him. Exactly. Was it wasn't. So now you have a situation where a governor can you cannot be a governor without having a deputy. Neither can you be a deputy without having a governor. So the process of choosing your deputy is like you are a whisker away from being the governor. Yes. Anything can happen to the governor. And Condiment. so in that situation, it is better not to choose an idiot to be your deputy. <laughs> because anything can happen, and the yeah, idiot will become, become the, the governor. governor. <laughs> now, what exactly, in, in the case of Edo now, you know what will be happening, especially in the camp of Osio Mole now. Uh, Shaibu is, I understand, is a cousin to Osio Mole. They are very close. He rebelled against his own blood cousin to support you. Now it is his turn. Well, whether you want him to succeed you or not, he shouldn't get to this point. Why should a deputy governor be barred from attending a state function. And then, this idea oh, oh, is it, it, almost everywhere. Eh? We have one state house, we have one this, and we have one that. It is the governor that approves All the appointment of those who are going to work with the deputy. The same way the president approves those who are going to work with the vice president. So if you find out that in, in such a situation, those who are working with the deputy governor now, whether they are guilty or not, by association, you have relieved them of their job. Mm. Just like that. I mean, there must be a better way to resolve this matter. And I think the elders of the party in the state should step in and bring this thing to a stop. I know uh, shortly before we uh, came into the studio, the deputy governor pledged his loyalty that, yes, is is loyal to the governor, but he still insists that he wants to to, to be the, the, to to run. There's nothing wrong in it. I mean, let everybody have a clear playing field. You said you are fighting against Godfatherism. Now you are there. The same system you fought against is the same system you want to begin to operate. Why is it? Why are we like this? Because in Nigeria now, people fight so-called godfatherism when it doesn't favor them. Immediately they get there, they also want to become another godfather. But then, at a point in time, it, when they were negotiating to, when they exited the All Progressive Congress, yes. then they came to uh, the PDP. You know, Governor Baseki stood his ground mm. against all odds that my deputy must come with me. Exactly. And my deputy must be my deputy. Ayo. He told the Dan Obi led Esco that time that, look, oh, I will not change my deputy. I can consider every other thing to not do, but not my deputy. I must come with my deputy. What, so what has changed? Yeah, anyway, thank God we were here during that period. Too. Mm. And I did say that anybody who sees uh, Obaseki's action at that time has been very loyal and uh, truthful to Raibu was making a mistake. Mm. It is playing out now. Mm. What he was doing there was in his own interest. There were two issues. Mm. He was to drop Shuaibu so that Obi's camp would produce his deputy. Okay. He didn't want to take that chance. Mm. He knew today, as we speak today, he's at Logarit with Obi. Obi, yes, till tomorrow. The Obaseki is fighting on all fronts. Ah. So if he he had agreed to that uh, proposition, he will have an obese man right behind right him. Behind him. Mm. That was one thing he didn't want, and that's why he resisted. 
It was not because of his love for, for Shraibu. Shraibu. Secondly, he knew that on that ticket at that time, quote me anyway, on that ticket at that time, Shraibu was the politician. Hmm. Obaseki was the politician. Shraibu was a man with the street. Hmm. He was a man with the crowd. To the extent that Oba so, actually, actually warned Shraibu in the, uh, the peace meeting they had. Yes. He singled him out to warn him. Yes. That you are the one with the crowd. Mm. So the truth of the matter is that Obaseki had no structure. Mm. Shraibu mm. had a, a very formidable structure. Shraibu had always been a position. I recall that uh, he, he passed through the, the, the ropes. The yeah. He was SUG, uh, Union, yeah. uh, in his university. Mm. He became a uh, president of NANS. I called him taking office in Bauchi in uh, 2000, mm. after Moses Oseke, they died. Mm. And he rose to be a le le legislator, state legislator, federal. Also, also, Before I imagine, as a, he, 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 he was the politician on that ticket. Mm. So for those two obvious reasons, Obaseki was not going to be convinced. To, he would have lost the election without yeah, yeah, yeah. on the ticket. Because... Obi was going to give him somebody from Edo Central as his deputy. Okay. So he, he understood so now, what was. So now that for, this uh, same governor Obaseki, Obaseki is not contest. Governor Obaseki wanted Shraibu to run against Toshomole in Edo North in 2019. And Shraibu said no. Yes. And that's the, the, you see, that's the problem. Where because he knew that it was going to be very difficult to that, run against Oshomole in Edo North and defeat Oshomole in Edo North. That is the thing now no that we have seen that it is his own interest that he's trying to protect. Trying because to now, how will you, a man that fought his own cousin, and went along with you all the way. I mean, so Oshio Male will be laughing now that uh, laughing, you see now. Laughing. You see, I told you, but. In fact, Oshio Male attended the function. He, he, and uh, the governor he invited, invited, the governor invited he did him very well. The exchange presidency. Oh, oh, now but, you uh, are now. Uh, 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 right. Shaibu is now an outcast. Ah, uh, no, no. I think, but, but, but if you look at it, yes. if you really look at it, I don't think we should weep for my comrade. What is it? He's my comrade. He's <laughs> uh, my very uh, close friend. And uh, we keep uh, talking about these issues mm. all along. The truth of the matter is that I have a lot of respect for Shraibu in all that has happened. Even what happened between him and Shiomole. His arguments were, I am a sitting deputy governor. Yes. Who swore a note of allegiance to the state and the governor. Okay. Yes. So okay. for that, he Paul stayed with... Uh, from Ajibo in Ogun State. Yes. Thank you for joining us, Paul. Yes. Go ahead, please. Thank you very much, uh, Ayo. All right. The issue of uh, Edo, I don't know why you are so sympathetic to these two men. <laughs> in 1978, when uh, Shifawo, 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 there are two rebellious deputy governors then. Hmm. I would not did not cause there. He only said that they are finished politically. And where are they today? Hmm. Even in their grave. So for me, it's like you are sympathizing with thieves. So for me, you're about to end up Abale no. You don't talk with your those people that have helped you. If a man denies his wife, he will pay for it. If you deny your employer, if you are disobedient, you will pay for it. So, that is my good friend. Please don't sympathize with them. <laughs> okay. I, I agree with you. I, I, in fact, that's exactly what I was going to say that. If Shuaibu's argument then was, I, I, I opposed Shuaibu because I swore to be loyal to Obaseki. Yeah. I think he should take the same stand now. He's still a sitting deputy governor. Yes. I was like, he's still his boss. No, this after no, Shaibu is asking now. So, but well, it, that does not mean he's now. Oh, no, no. no Obaseki is saying, Obaseki is saying it's too early uh, to start campaigning. Yes. And Shaibu is saying, no. I want to campaign. Time, I want to campaign. It will By be too late. By the November, that you say you will choose, you will decide who is going to be the... Uh, it, will, it might be late. It will be too late for me. That's the argument. Why is he saying it's too late now? When Oshio uh, Mole was saying, 
Abbasagid was doing this wrong. He was doing this wrong. He said, look, I swore loyalty to this man. I think that allegiance should be enough today for him to just accept whatever Abbasagid said. No, but wait. Uh, what, uh, the thing I am only saying this based on Ari, what he said before. Uh, Ari, but Ari, the whole thing that got interesting when Oshomo Lena came out that APC is not... It's not a, a refugee, a refugee camp. camp. No, but you see... It's not a refugee camp. Why should that means Shwaibu is in? He should stay where no, he should stay where he is. So why should governors decide that their deputy should not step into their shoes? I say I decide. If there is anything they've seen that we didn't, we haven't we haven't seen because the issue let, is. Let, in let the, me ask this question: okay. Why why should Obaseke have decided then that he will run with no one else but Oshiyama and Shwaibu? And but you said it uh, earlier that the, the Shwaibu is the... Yeah, hey, but nobody blamed him for taking that decision. If he's not saying, look, Shwaibu, you, you are good as deputy. That was what he said then. Uh -huh. Very good. At, but he's saying now that you are not good as governor. I mean, if we respected his opinion, then I said, ah, see a good man taking a good decision for his deputy. Why are we, like uh, the last speaker said, why are we having a uh, hunchback no. over his decision now? Well, the open crisis between... The, deputy, the governor and the deputy Look, governor is... Tribal but the state is like himself to a corner. Mm. He bugs him. Tribal, so he shouldn't have supported... No. Them. Then, at that time, I all recall that they said that one man who can reconcile, who could have reconciled or Shio Mole and and Wasek was Tribal. Mm. I'm telling you. I, see, he, 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 he had all it takes then. Mm. But I think he looked critically at his uh, political future. Mm. Did some permutations mm. and preached this thing. If it had paid off, mm. he will be enjoying it now. So if it is not paying off now, he gambled. He gambled and he has to cash out, either positively or negatively. To play the Godfather now. Oh, you know, oh. That, you know that. You know that is Why? my that is my own grouse with it. You you defeated. Or oh, a, a, a godfather, and you now install yourself. But what do you expect him to do? To walk away and leave the field? Oh, no. He only that's defeated that's, the godfather well, so that that's he can why be a godfather. That's why politicians. Was, that's why politicians. I don't know the Lagos. No, I don't. It's Edo Lagos now. <laughs> that's why you can never understand with politicians. <laughs> <laughs> that his, his fight was against a godfather standing in his way mm. for, to become a godfather. <laughs> that's simple as that. <laughs>